One of the most lovable students is called Teddy, and we call her Teddy Bear. And when she speaks, it's with great wisdom. And when she draws or paints, she has a, she's a one-to-one -one with somebody who helps her to start. She simplifies. She did a meerkat. We were doing the wild animals of Africa. And she, she loves cats. She's a cat person. And it's so beautiful, just incredibly beautiful. Her work has a simplicity and a power and an amusing and somehow it reaches my heart. So tell me, what is your favorite thing to draw? Um, barn houses, I mean, what we did today. Yeah, that's it. Oh, thank you. Do you like coming here? Yeah, I enjoy coming here. Yeah. Every Monday. Tastes awful. <laughs> she still want about the cookie. Well, don't eat it. <laughs> Feed it to the cat. Do you get to draw on Tuesdays and Wednesdays? Yeah, at home. What kinds of things do you like to do at home? I got an art book at home I color in. A coloring book? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just a little bit. You won't notice a thing. Welcome to our second video about the work that you guys are collaborating with us. So this is your big effort to help other people. So I thought and thought about what we could do. Last week we really focused on lying and imagination and your artist with it. So this time, you've got something even more exciting, and it's called Hatch. The connection, to, for Sybil, there's a connection between a stone from Lake Ontario and an egg. And Sybil says that the stones have been sitting in Lake Ontario cold, sitting in the cold water for thousands of years. Mm. And now, imagine, with global warming, that they've warmed up and they're going to hatch like an egg. So they all get a big stone from Lake Ontario, which is really a stone egg, and a medium one, and a small one. And then on their paper, with a thick thing, they put their thing and they outline their big stone, and then they take their medium one and they do five outlines, and then they take the little one and they fill in all the spaces. So in the big one, it's hatched, and they have to think of what is inside, because the Inuit feel that when you have stone from inside, there is an energy, a spirit. So mine's a turtle, so a turtle got hatched. So then they outline the turtle, they make another stone, and they put tabs on it, and it's like, so that this is a clamshell, so it will be a clamshell. And then they're going, to, because of the warming, all the little stones will be rainbow colors with colored pencils. The medium ones will be colored pencils plus oil pastels. And this one will be the most glorious color of oil pastels. But it's a lesson in shapes. It's a lesson in shading because they have to make form. It's a lesson in composition where focal point and it's a lesson where they use their imagination and enjoy themselves. It has been born. Well, it's springtime, isn't it? So we're thinking about birth and things. Yeah. Oh, here's Anton. And so once you've been in years, then you're making a, a clamshell and you fit on that and sort of flat on them. Oh, okay. So it's a surprise. Oh, okay. Okay. So you, I think you're going to find it's going to take a bit of time. So we'll get started. Yeah. Okay, we'll go over to the studio.
So, what do you like about the studio here? Do you do different things here than you do at home? Yeah. Yeah? What about um, Sybil's lessons? Are they fun? I like Sybil Hopper's right. She's my teacher. And you like working with Nevis? Yeah, and you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me what's your favorite color? Red. Red. So do you use a lot of red in your paintings and your drawings? Red, pink, white, blue, all kinds of colors. Yeah. And do you like to draw? Yeah. Yeah, you're very good at it, you know. Do you like using your imagination? Yeah. Yeah. So today was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, sure was. So you did today a mouse. A mouse? With really big ears. Biggie, big ears. <laughs> That was fun. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, open the little flap to see who's inside. Tell us, tell us about it. Who's it? Who's in there? Mouse. And what's on the inside of the flap? Piece of cheese. <laughs> he looks like he doesn't mind staying under that rock. Maybe, does he want to hatch or no? He's got all kinds of cheese. That's why he doesn't want to come out. Stay there. Yeah. Stay. <laughs> and you know what I loved is that it made you smile. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? It made everyone around you smile. That's that's what I love about your drawing. Is you use your imagination and you draw what you love because it makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it makes everyone around you happy too. So is that what what is art to you? Happiness? Happiness in my heart. Heart is happiness in my heart. That's beautiful. I think we all feel that way. 